Okay, in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to take a Pogo Plug V2 version 2 um, pink or gray and make it into a LAMP server, Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP server. Um, we're going to be using Arch Linux ARM, which uh, also is abbreviated ALARM, known as ALARM. Um, on this one, we're going to be using the Pogo EO2, or Pogo EO2G. If these are not the one of the two models that your Pogo plug uh, has, uh, please do not follow these instructions because you'll probably screw your Pogo plug up permanently. Um, by the way, you install these at your own risk and it could indeed damage permanently your Pogo plug. Uh, you will no longer be able to use the mypogoplug.com to manage your pogo plug. It won't work the same anymore. It'll be a standalone server. And as far as I understand, you can revert it back later on if you want to. But that is not the uh, my intention with my pogo plug. So uh, instructions on how to do that and to research that beforehand. If you're thinking about reverting, uh, you might all go ahead and look into that now. Um, with this here, it's really simple. The first thing we need to do is you need to make sure you have enabled SSH through uh, mypogoplug.com uh, so we can SSH into your Pogo Plug device. You will need to go into your router and find the uh, IP address for your Pogo Plug. You should be able to find somewhere in your router, you should be able to find uh, a list of IP. IP addresses and then the name of the computers and then you'll have your MAC addresses out beside it. Uh, find the one that's yours. Uh, mine, I know it's this one right here. It does not have a name. So uh, what I'll do, you'll need uh, PuTTY. I used PuTTY to uh, connect to mine. And with PuTTY, it's, uh, you don't have to install anything. You just run the program and then you type in your Your IP address that your Pogo plug is, which mine is 194, so I'm going to go ahead and port 22 is good for SSH. And I'm going to go ahead and click open. And what that'll do, that'll bring me up as a login as. We're going to log in as root. And now your password, unless you've changed it, there's an option to change it in my Pogo plug, but if you haven't changed it, it'll be CE admin but that's not mine because I did change it so alright once you log in you should see the uh, pogo plug and then uh, prompt and what we're going to do you need to kill all of the uh, software first and so we do kill all hbwd Alright, so I've already killed them, no big deal. Uh, you'll probably see it stop several different things in this process. Uh, Alright, so now we need to go ahead and download our uh, bootloader so we can uh, boot from USB drives. We'll go to the temp directory, CD temp. It's the only one that we can write to. Uh, we'll use the wget command. And we'll type in this nice long URL. And of course you can find all of these uh, Okay, so that downloaded really fast. You can find all these commands where you can copy and paste them on the uh, website that this tutorial uh, is linked to in the description of the video. So now we're going to want to go ahead and change the uh, mode, add the execute to uh, install. You start typing it and if you'll hit tab, it'll go ahead and finish the rest of it for you. A little secret there. Alright, now we want to go ahead and run that. Install and you can hit tab again. Okay. 
and type OK. Okay, and since I already have it installed, it's just asking me if I would like to uh, reset the U-boot environment. I'll go ahead and click yes. All right, and you should see some sort of a complete completed successfully message. Now, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and install your flash drive into your uh, to your pogo plug. Make sure you don't have anything else installed because whatever you have installed will um, be deleted. So only insert the flash drive that you're going to use the USB jump drive uh, that you're going to use for this installation and nothing else all right it doesn't matter which uh, which port you insert it into uh, this particular one I'm just inserted mine in the front port on my pogo plug all right so now we need to run F disk on it so we'll do S bin F disk and then device SDA alright then we want to press O and then P to list partitions O uh, cleared out all the partitions on the drive P lists it just to make sure that there's none left uh, and as we can see we have no partitions so next we want to type in for new partition and we want to type P for primary and then one for the first partition and then we're just going to press enter to accept the defaults all right and then we'll uh, exit by typing W all right now we need to uh, go ahead and get the uh, create the ext two file system and we do that by Type in wget and then this long URL. All right. Now we'll need to change mode seven fifty five and ke to fs. All right, then we're going to go ahead and run that. DA1. That's for that first partition we just got done creating. And this is uh, writing our partition tables or formatting it. All right. Now that that's done, we're going to uh, make a directory USB, and now we're going to mount it. All right. We're going to go CD USB. All right. Now we need to go ahead and we're going to download and uh, and unpack our uh, Arch. Linux arm. It'll take uh, just a minute or two, depending on your connection speed, to download that.
All right, now that we've got that downloaded, we need to uh, unpack it. Once again, then use your you can use your tab trick there, and this may take a while for it to unpack. All right, now that we got that, um, we need to go ahead and sync it. This could take uh, take a while, or it may just take a minute. All right, now here's the uh, here's the last thing. We're going to go ahead and remove our uh, the installation. Uh, tarball and last things last is we'll go ahead and uh, 
CD out of the uh, out of that folder we're going to unmount our USB stick and now the last thing you left to do is to go ahead and reboot and wish for the best now all I can say is to take and watch your uh, watch your pogo plug device the light should go black on it and then it should uh, give it about a minute or two and it should come back on this orange mine always has stayed a uh, steady orange that's a pretty good indication that it has successfully rebooted all right now the next thing we got to do is go ahead and uh, double check and make sure that your pogo plug did not change IP addresses because mine did uh, the first time I did this And it looked like it stayed the same. Just double check your router table because like I said, my, mine shifted on me. Oh, and it should show up as the name alarm now. So that's what you want to look for. Um, it, did, it does give it a new name. Just make sure that, that the IP doesn't change because that can cause you fits if it, if it did shift the IP address. Uh, and your router reassigned it a new one. So what we're going to do, we're going to relaunch Putty again. And then we're going to... Relog back into it. Uh, you will need to uh, purge your SSH keys because it will. Uh, I'll show you to give a warning on this. And Linux or uh, Mac, it might not let you uh, connect at all. But in Windows, it's going to give you a big old nasty security breach. And since we know it's okay, we'll just go ahead and click yes. Now your password is going to be, you're going to log in as root and your password is going to be root. And now you're in Alarm and uh, you've successfully installed Alarm on your uh, Pogo plug and you're ready for the next part of the tutorial which uh, is how to set up Apache, Linux, Apache MySQL and PHP. Thanks for watching.